that conversation. Tua Tonga Vailoa, I mean, another great performance. Dolphins 7 and 0 when he starts and finishes a game. We have to qualify it with that. But, I mean, is he part of the MVP conversation at this point? I think he is. He has to be. Uh, you know, if he had played the whole season, he'd certainly be. But I think when you look at what he's done, over the course of the time he's been in there as a starter, he has to be in the conversation for an MVP. And I'll be honest with you, I, I was wrong about him. I've said it many a time. That, that's one of the few ones I actually got wrong, but I was wrong about Tua because he's proving a lot of people, especially myself, wrong. And I would sit there and I'd look across him and I'd say, I was wrong about you, buddy, because you're playing really good football. <laughs> two, two of the quarterbacks that had the biggest targets on them, Tua and Hurts, and both of them got to be in that conversation. So when you look at this Dolphins team, I mean, obviously you have Kansas City in the AFC, you have the Bills, you have the Dolphins. Is that how you would rank them at this point, Bills, Chiefs, Dolphins, when you're looking at the AFC? Well, yeah, Miami's in the conversation. There's no doubt about it. I, I think, but how do you rank them? I mean, is it Buffalo? Is it, is it Kansas City? Buffalo won Kansas City, Miami. Is it Buffalo? Is it Kansas City, Buffalo, Miami? Right. Is it Kansas City, Miami, Buffalo? Don't forget about the Bengals either, by the way. I want to keep that one alive. I think they're going to get it right and get in the mix, too. But those are the teams. The, the Bengals NBA. aren't going to get in the mix. Yeah, they, they are. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. So. <laughs> <They'll> be, <laughs> they no, will. They no, will be not. in the mix by the season. You want to bet? Yeah. Okay. Make a bet on yeah, air. Let's okay. go. There we go. A hoagie go. sandwich. Your lunch. <laughs> yeah, okay. So going into the bye week, now the Dolphins have the bye week. What is the thing that, that you've seen that concerns you that they need to work on heading into the home stretch? I think a little bit just cleaning up some of the stuff on the defensive side of the ball. And that's been kind of a struggle for them uh, through most of the year. They played better today on that. But if they can uh, continue to improve on the defensive side, uh, I think they're going to be a really, really good, tough team to beat. They can pressure the quarterback, but they hadn't done it all year. Well, they did it today. Because of Chubb. A, yeah, and that's a good sign. That's a really good sign that they're able to pressure the quarterback because we know how this league is. You get to December and January, you have to be able to knock the opposing quarterback down, and they did it today. What about the Cleveland Browns? I mean, obviously, you know, the whole season it's kind of been a waiting for Deshaun uh, scenario, and, and you heard Tua kind of give some props to Jacoby Brissett for the job that he, you know, that he's been doing with that team. Jacoby had a good two-game stretch coming into coming into this week versus Miami. When you look at the Browns, I mean, is that basically just it? You're waiting for Deshaun Watson, but what are you waiting for? It's too point? late. They're yeah. done. They're done. I mean, they waited. Uh, that's the risk you took when you signed them. You now you waited for him, and your season's over. I mean, he's not going to he's not going to rescue them. They're and, finished. And the other thing, if you look what he did in the preseason. And he's missed all that time. I don't think he hasn't played in a year and a half, almost two years of football. To think that he's going to come back and be the Deshaun Watson we saw before the suspension, I think you're kidding yourself. All right, we are wrapping up the uh, early games as they start to come in. We're going to get you highlights and, of course, uh, update the scoreboard for you. Jeremy St. Louis alongside Rick Spielman uh, and Pete Prisco. Take a look at the fantasy impact uh, from the Dolphins' win over the Browns. Uh, Jeffrey Wilson, I mean, we didn't even talk about him. 119 rushing yards today. It appears the Dolphins maybe have found their running back. At well, least for now. Couple. Yeah, and, and, but that was a great trade for them. He's familiar with Mike McDaniel. He's familiar with their offense, and it's already shown an impact he can make with that move. And let's not forget, the Browns are terrible in the run defense, too. I mean, and they're, they're terrible in pass defense as well. Well, they're terrible in defense. How about that? <laughs> Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.